Well, uh, EIG has made uh, a good impressions uh, to me. I think it well represents the cross-section of the private industry. And it's very interesting to hear uh, from operators as well from regulators how they see uh, what is going on on the business. So it was very interesting and I followed with particular attention the CEO debate yesterday. And uh, I saw, I've seen uh, lots of uh, uh, uncertainty about the future of online gambling. But I've also seen uh, that operators are, be are beginning to be aware that uh, the path forward for online gambling is a regulated uh, online market. So uh, it was uh, good to see that. Operators who are interested, uh, who have an interest in the Belgian market, have two options in general. Uh, on the one hand, they can go for a land-based license or become shareholder of a land-based uh, gaming establishment and then they can obtain a, a plus license, a plus license that is needed uh, to operate games of chance on the internet. On the other hand, they can uh, obtain an e-license. Uh, for instance, PokerStars has done that so that they deliver, uh, the, the, they, they supply services to uh, land-based operators. In, in, in that case, it was the group Circus, who has a land-based casino in Belgium, and they are working together to, uh, with PokerStars to offer uh, the PokerStars.be site to the public. So, in general, these are the conditions but besides that, you have to, to, to be aware that we, have a, uh, a, that we have an independent regulator and we want to have control on the operators, on the games, and also on the websites. So for the operators, we have our licensing system. For the games, we have uh, authorization and certification schemes. And for the websites, we have our uh, server location principle. The server has to be located in Belgium what kind of regulation is needed. The problem is that it, at the moment there is no cooperation between regulators uh, across U Europe. Therefore, in, uh, during the summer school in Leuven uh, last July, together with experts from other uh, regulatory body, uh, experts from Netherlands, uh, Germany, Poland, uh, Finland, Norway and Hungary, we have decided to create a new platform, the European regulatory platform. In fact, it's a think tank and we want to, to, to that the, the voice of regulators is more heard across Europe. And when that voice is more heard across Europe, I think we can come uh, to more cooperation between like-minded uh, regulators. So uh, at the moment, I don't see much uh, cooperation between uh, uh, like-minded regulators, but I think we will arrive to, to more uh, cooperation. What will be the, the, the implications of the Green Paper? Uh, you have to be aware that there was already uh, the Librand and Kubers uh, study in 1996. We have uh, uh, seen a Swiss study of the Institute of Comparative Law in 2006. Now we have uh, our green paper. So we'll see what will be the outcome of it. But more important than the outcome will be uh, the project of the European Commission. What will be their intentions to do with the Green Paper? I think it is very important that the European Commission uh, should read very well the answers of regulators So, uh, because uh, we are convinced that uh, a pri just a private market is not a good way uh, to, 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 to handle. I think you must have a regu regulated online gambling market. Uh, and then we, we, we can uh, put a, a step forward. So more important than the conclusions are uh, the, the project of the European Commission uh, that is related with, it, with that will be related with, uh, with the Green Paper. We have two main objectives now. First, we want to install a, a regulated but attractive online gambling market in Belgium. And uh, also we want to tackle more efficiently illegal markets. Therefore, we, have, uh, we are going to have agreements with uh, internet service providers, with payment providers, uh, and also with fi financial uh, institution. That's our main objective. And beside that, we are, we are going to give our full, full support to the ERP, the European Regulatory Platform, so that we can create a, a platform and that we can uh, have a counterpart uh, uh, against uh, EGBA, uh, RGA and European Lottery. So these are the two main objectives for uh, the Belgium uh, regulator.